right, here we go. Okay, if you screw this all the way into the stop, no gas is going to get to your carburet, to your engine. See, it's tapered, and you can close that hole up. About right there. Right there. That hole in that little main jet, nothing can get through it. So the instructions say to back this thing out, how many uh, main jet needle, turn needle in lightly until seated, then back out three turns. Three full turns. You want to look and see about like what time that would be on a clock and go yeah. backwards three full times. Yeah. Ah, come on here. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. Okay. Now, uh, that don't necessarily mean that it's, it's set. When you get this on the tractor and uh, rev your tractor up full throttle, if it's if it's not running right, you back it out some more. Back it out another turn. So, okay. Yeah, we put in this part. Find us a new gasket. Whoop. Must be this one. There we go. And it goes right down in there. Just carry that around your pocket all the time? <laughs> no. What no. size is that? 7 sixteenths. Now, another thing, you don't want to tighten this too tight either because it'll... It's copper or brass, you can twist it off too. Now, let's see what we got left. We got the idle jet air and we got that. We got that, okay. We're ready. That's all there is to it because that's all I took apart. I didn't take that butterfly out and I didn't take that butterfly out. This is called the butterfly. That flapper. That thing right there is a butterfly. A butterfly. And this one will control the air gas mixture. This is a choke. Okay. That is a choke. And this is a this one here is a speed control. Okay. Now I'll put that on there. Come out hard. Let's see if we can fix that. Put the hard side in first and then let the easy side slip in. Well, yeah, it, it's supposed to slip right on down in there. It was hard to come out of there and I didn't think anything about it. Just push it. Uh, 
Okay, let's let's do it this way. Let's put this in and put the top on. That gasket that's here, Ventura's got a little shoulder for that gasket to fit around. Whoop, missed it, didn't I? That goes right there. That goes right there. Now, that's sitting on the gasket. We got the gasket upside down, didn't we? See, it ain't turning enough to. It, it, it's hitting that. Okay, let's turn that gas over. Now, okay, we'll we'll put that gasket on there. That Ventura, it just don't want to cooperate with us, does it? There we go. There we go. It's supposed to fit. Yeah. Huh? Gasket's in line. The Ventura's down. Everything's set. So we'll take this. Ooh. Set that down there like that. Just like that. Now. What are you doing there? Seeing if the float is working. You hear it moving? Yeah. Okay. Pulled in there. <clears throat> we'll put a bolt in here. <clears throat> now here's a here's a crude way of testing that, but I do it anyway. What's that thing called? Well, it's called a strainer, but that's where the gas line from the tank goes mm -hmm. in. What are you testing for? Well, Okay, now the carburetor's sitting on the tractor like this. Mm -hmm. That needle valve should be open to let gas in. Mm -hmm. See, I can blow through it. Mm -hmm. That means it's working? That means the needle valve's open. Okay, if I turn it over like this, that float should close that needle valve because it's upside down. So you blow on it again. Blow on it again. So that means it's... 